Hi everyone, it's Heidi from flutterbyheidi.wordpress.com and this time I'm here with a Mix Up Monday project and I'm going to be constructing this, uh, well Michael, is Mix and Match range and it's made out of MDF and it's a brush and store, uh, utensil storage. It's actually put, just put together there, it isn't actually glued, so I'm just going to show you how I go about making these. Um, what I use, first of all, is some Cosmic Shimmer acrylic glue and I have on hand some baby wipes along with a very fine paintbrush as well just to add some glue tidy up those edges and this is just from a really cheap um, Poundland set of actually nail art brushes so um, those are I find are really useful and as you can see I literally just put that together as you can see um, and it's all MDF and part of it slots together and part of it is just slot and tab construction as you can see there so when it comes to you um, and these are available in my online shop you'll it'll come with all the pieces and you'll see that they're actually labeled so you can go A to A, B to B and so on so what you do is you start with the base unit if I move the other pieces out of the way and you're going to put your glue along pieces where it makes contact. So, always have on for a wipe. My glue has gone a bit runny. So just, here we go, wipe up any excess, that's why you have them. So I literally just go along and put the glue on those parts where those are going to join, like so. So I've put a tiny dab either end as well and the reason I have a tissue is because quite simply what you can do is you can just wipe away any excess. So all you do is you put the B to B in there, do the same on this one here. So we've already got the glue in place, I just put a dot either end of those. like so. The next one we're going to use is going to be our handle which is going to go with our um, C here. So again let's pop the glue along those seams and I'll, once it's actually in place I will go along and wipe away the excess. Okay, so you see, there's your C, and that slots straight into there, like so. Then our D, just pop a bit of glue in here, and again, on those connecting pieces, so you can either do it on the base or you can do it on the wood itself, and just slot that down. I always find with these it's really useful to um, to construct it without the glue first so you sort of know where every, all the pieces are going to go. And this is where I use my brush. You'll see there's a little bit of excess glue in there. So I'm just going to brush it in first of all and then I'll wipe away the excess with a good old baby wipe or a damp cloth if you've got it. And then you just continue the process on all of the pieces. So when you come to the side here, you're going to be, I'm going to add the glue to this side edge here. And if you're going to decorate with paper afterwards, before you do this bit, then what I suggest is that you actually use this piece and cut around it, use it as a template. And um, I will be, I'll do a second video where I'll put the uh, measurements on for the uh, for the decoration as well if people would like that um, okay and that just slots on the side there and if you find it's getting stuck to your base which you may well do then don't worry about it you can just pick it up and wipe it down so again I'm just off camera there sorry so again all I'm doing is I'm putting a little bit of glue on either end. It might be easier if I turn the light like so actually. There we go. Might be a bit of a better. And again, up the middle section up here. 
and I find the cosmic shimmer glue works really well obviously you've got other wood glues as well and then once I've constructed it I'm going to wipe those out now while I'm while it's still damp here we go And then we're going to come in with our last piece on the back. So I'm going to turn that up and literally just come along all those sections. So these are the sort of indented sections, which is where it's going to make contact. Like so. Okay, can you see there? So all you do... Um, make sure the letter is on the inside and because unless you're going to cover it with paper otherwise even if you paint it that will be visible and then what you do is just from the top you see there I'm just making sure those tabs are properly slotted in and they'll go nice and flush um, I always paint after I've constructed and the reason for that is because I don't want any excess um, glue or anything on the inside and before those are solid we just need to do our F at the front because that's held in by our side pieces. So I might need to put a little bit more glue on those side pieces. So just up and down here. Okay. Just ease that out slightly. Line those up with the front slots and then in place like so. And again, just come in and brush away, or wipe away that excess. This is all hidden from view, so you're not going to see it. And then the final piece. Goes in like so. Um, as I was saying, the reason I don't, I don't glue it at the start is... Um, because you don't want it to sort of make it more difficult to join your parts together. Um, so there we go. So all I'll do now is just wipe away the excess round and I will leave that to dry overnight before coming in and decorating. I find it's a good idea just to add a bit of pressure just to make sure you've got really good bonds on those just for a few moments. Um, and then as you can see, it's a really useful storage tray and the little handle on the top makes it absolutely perfect for when you're crafting on the go because you can just pick it up and take it with you. Um, and as I said, I will be decorating this as well. Um, the first thing I'll do is probably paint it um, and then I'll come in and decorate it with some of our lovely uh, designer series paper. Um, and you can paint it whatever colour you want, just use an acrylic paint. Um, those little tester pots that you get from the uh, DIY store are absolutely perfect um, if you want some little bits of colour. But you can also, and I use some of the Americana acrylic paints, the, uh, the, the Americana decor ones, because those are really good as well and give really good coverage. Um, so there you go, a very quick Mix It Monday, um, just to show you how my MDF products go together really easily. Um, this is one, just one of the items that I stock. I also stock a Stampin' Up! ink pad rack holder as well, uh, which holds 32 ink pads. Just uh, pop by my um, on my blog www.flutterbyheidi.wordpress.com and go to the MDF um, items for sale page and you'll see them all there and uh, I'd love to get some off to you so you can make some really useful storage items as well. Thanks for watching, bye for now.